whenever we notice something is wrong with our phone or our laptop or any of our gadgets the next thing that comes to your mind is oh i don't want to lose any of the fight let me start backing them up let me meet a phone repairer trying everything possible to make sure that those information are backed up those informations are not missing when you notice a tear in your clothes when you notice that oh you're not having a lot of clothes in your closet the next thing that comes to your mind is oh i need to go shopping i need to change my closet but when you notice some changes in your body you don't even take notes you're like oh next week next two weeks next month i'll see a doctor if it's if it's persistent if it's too serious but now i can bear it are you for real if you can take your phone and your documents in your phone so serious and also your clothes so serious why can't you take your health seriously so today on this video i'm going to be sharing with you 10 signs as an individual you should not ignore when you notice it 10 signs as an individual that you should not ignore same way you try to protect your documents you try to protect your clothes that's the same way you're supposed to protect your body so that the files in your body will not delete so that the memories in your body will not get missing okay so i'm going to be sharing with you with the signs today good day, everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is messy mary popularly known as a nurse with a difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today i'm going to be sharing with you 10 signs that you should not ignore as an individual and the first one i'm going to be sharing with you is what i personally battled what i personally experienced but neglected and that is feeling very tired feeling exhausted feeling fatigued yes it got to a time at some point in my life i was always feeling tired i was always feeling exhausted any little thing i'm tired i'm fatigued i'm exhausted i just want to lie on the bed not knowing that i was having low iron level not knowing that i was having low hemoglobin level so if you are always feeling tired i know sometimes tiredness can be as a result of stress but if it is consistent it is persistent then it is something you should speak to your doctor about then the second one i want to share with you is fever you see this high body temperature oh you check your temperature most people don't even check their temperature they just do it like this it's hot and they ignore they just get process and they're like it's going to go down it's like this temperature is consistent you see 39 degrees centigrade you see 40 degrees centigrade and you're like oh paracetamol with salt is just take your bath and it's consistent one day two days and you're ignoring it if you notice fever hypertamia increase in body temperature whatsoever language you understand please and please kindly see your doctor the third one that we ignore and quickly go to the pharmacy is headache headache today you're having headache morning afternoon evening headache tomorrow high morning afternoon evening and you're like oh paracetamol ibuprofen is going to sort it it might be as a result of other things migraine is there it can be as a result of a condition that can cause total blindness in the future if not properly tackled on time so headache don't joke with it then the first one i have to share with you is chest pain oh it's just small chest pain it's not serious it's just yes it can be as well as some little condition it can be as serious as cardiac arrest it can be as serious as heart failure heart issues so don't joke with chest pain i've listed four for you now then the fifth one i have to share with you is that you notice blood blood in your urine blood in your poo blood in your sperm as a man definitely that is something you should see the doctor about that is something you should speak with the doctor about. It can signify UTI, urinary tract infection. It can signify pelvic inflammatory disease. It can signify a lot of things. So please and please kindly see your doctor when you notice these signs I just listed. The sixth one I have to share with you is shortness of breath. If you are finding it difficult to breathe properly, you are finding it difficult. <sighs> yeah, you are finding it difficult to breathe, and you know this is not the normal way to breathe. Kindly speak with your doctor then the seventh one i have to share with you is painful sexual intercourse if you're having intercourse with your partner and it's very very painful be it the male or the female then that's something you should speak with the doctor about it could be as a result of uti pid for the women endometriosis so speak with your doctor as soon as possible all right then the eighth point i have to share with you is feeling full after eating little you've not eaten a lot or i know your stomach is filled up you know the normal of food you could normally eat the quantity but now you are not eating much it's something you should speak to your doctor about it could be as a result of all sides could be as a result of some leaf flux you're having but just say the doctor then the ninth one i have to share with you which is here is flashes of light if you are experiencing flashes of light you know what i mean flash like flash coming on going it could be as a result of something that needs to be treated 
immediately to prevent blindness or it could be as a result of some migraine but just see the doctor then the last one i have to share with you is abdominal pain severe consistent persistent abdominal pain kindly see the doctor it could be as a result of an inflamed bladder uh, inflamed uh, gallbladder it could be as a result of appendicitis it could be as a result of some liver issues and i know you don't want to discover this lately so if you are having severe abdominal pain kindly speak with your doctor don't procrastinate don't start taking paracetamol and expect it to go totally you are taking ibuprofen and expect it to go if it is severe consistent kindly speak with your doctor as soon as possible thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is not messy mary saying thank you bye and see you in our next video